Hello everybody and welcome back to Good Morning Sri Lanka once again on a Wednesday morning. It's the 28th, payday is near or some of you would have already have, would have gotten it already. It's time to socialize and of course go out there and eat some nice food. And talking about food, like I said, we have Mr. Harpo Gunaratna with us on the show. Uh, so Mr. Harpo, it's time to dig into a little bit about and try to understand what you what. Mr. Harpo is all about. Okay. So I'm just going to ask you first, on a regular day, yeah. how, do you, how do you spend your day? How would I spend my day yeah. on a regular day? I would wake up by about um, <laughs> hey, early hours, 7.38. Uh, I would read my Bible first thing in the morning. Oh, so you are a religious person. Yeah, I, I, mean, I, I believe in purpose to be. And yeah, and then I, um, then I get about my day, I mean, I have my... I have my little Labrador home I play with. Okay. And uh, I, I hit the road. Um, animal lover? Yeah, All right. I, I love animals, <laughs> yes. And I love my doggy. And I, I, I would start to work by about 10, 10 30, and I, I move on from property to property to property. Uh, and uh, I knock off by about 5, 5 30. I, I probably go to the gym or do, a, do, a, do my exercise for one hour, work on the independence. I come back. Uh, I will go back to work by 7, 7.30, I'm on the floor again, and thereafter, it's a long hours, I mean, I work long hours, so we finish by 12.31, or it all depends who we meet up in the evening, you know, <laughs> uh, that, that's, the, that's the part of the industry, the hospitality industry is that, you know, it's never a dull moment, you always have somebody around you, and um, it keeps you going, actually, yeah. And is a regular day for you, do you consider it stressful? You uh, I mean, yeah, you, in, in this industry, you do have your stressful day, the ups and downs, you know, but, you know, uh, you try to you try to stay stress free, stress stress free. But then uh, there are days you have it. You know there are days you don't have it, and uh, that's a part and parcel of the of the job. You know. <laughs> I see. <laughs> and um, tell me a little bit about yourself, your family life. I, I believe you have a daughter. Yeah, I got a daughter, Ashera. She's 22 years old. My wife Shireen. Uh, my wife's the hairdresser and she also runs a school for teaching. Ashina just finished her degree uh, hotel management and she's back. She's working with me now. Mm -hmm. She's a trainee PR working within my group. Okay, so it's like uh, like daddy like daughter skills, has yeah, the same she, skills, right? There again, she <laughs> chose what she likes doing. I never forced her into what she wanted to do. She 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 chose the, the profession. I, I I thought that's the best way to to handle her, and I, she's enjoying it. It's what's the most important thing. I always tell her, you know, you got to enjoy what you do, and then that if you enjoy what you do, you know, you, the best comes out of it. You know, you never go there saying, hey, I've got to go to work and I don't like going to work. You know, then 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 they're not going to put you hundred percent into whoever you're working with. You know. I see. Yeah, so I always uh, tell her that, and, and she's enjoying it, which is important. Yeah. I see. I see. And I'm sure she's also enjoying uh, the benefits of having a dad who has so many restaurants. <laughs> Not really, actually. She, she. I mean, she has a friend. She has. Well, a he, she, she definitely has a choice. Yeah. You know? she, yeah. <laughs> every day she has a different no, choice. She, she doesn't go to my restaurants every day. She actually she does not actually go to my restaurants every day. on work for sure. But she has her own life. She has her own friends, and she mm -hmm. she she has her own network, and she they do she does her own thing, and and she's enjoying it. You know, that's what's important. You know, to enjoy. I see. It, you know? I see. Um, the other thing, yeah. Mr. Harpo, is now okay. You have a lot of choices in terms of cuisine. Yeah. Right. Um, suddenly you have like an appetite for something, okay, you need to just decide, all right, I have a few restaurants, uh, they cater to different tastes, what am I in the mood for tonight, <laughs> or this morning, or this afternoon, should I call this chef and you know, tell him to, you know, uh, pack me up something, I can't pick it up, or is there any other way that you take care of your food at home? Uh, you see, uh I'm very careful when it comes to food. I mean, I don't binge, if you want to put it that way. I don't, I'm not a binge on food, you know. I mean, uh, I, I, if, if you ask me my ideal day of what I have as, as a meal, I, mm -hmm. I, would, I would wake up in the morning, I would have my fresh fruits, you know, at lunchtime I would, I, would, I would toss up a salad or have a baguette or something. Nighttime I would have a fresh pasta or something like that. So I don't binge on food like that, you know, but I, once in a while I would go to a rack and try to, try to, <laughs> try to have my kotu. But as, as Sri Lankans, yeah, we can't you know, get rid of that. To, I'd love to do my kotu, <laughs> which I actually stopped doing. But, you know, I watch what I eat, you know, so, I mean, as much as you rightly said, I could, I could pick 
up anything from any other menu, but I'm going to binge it. So uh, I'm going to I'm going to ask you this now. When you one f- on on a particular day, yeah. if you were in front of a nice kotuka day having a little meal, and someone came by and recognized you, have they ever questioned? Oh you? yeah, it happened many a time actually. <laughs> Sometimes I, I sit in the shop and eat. Actually, I sit in the Tosikade shops and eat. And there are there are uh, some of my staff guys. They say, "Why are you eating in the shop?" Is that it's kind of a relaxation. You know? Oh, it has happened to me many, many a times. You know, I sit out, I sit in the shops and I eat, and I, you know, it's it's something I. Uh, I, I enjoy doing it. Huh? <laughs> I see. Um, uh, so, in terms of um, okay, in terms of your food intake. Yeah. Now, as I as I said earlier, I mean, you definitely have enough reason to be tempted. Yeah. Uh, and as a foodie, and especially if you're maintaining uh, a chain of restaurants, if you're in the hospitality industry, it is uh, important. It, it, it's in, it's a part of your career that yeah. you need to actually go out there and sample some of the stuff yeah, you're serving, yeah. right? Yeah. And uh, is how how do you maintain your health <laughs> in terms of with all all that food? <laughs> you see, you do food tasting, but you know, it's also how you balance the the metabolisms have to be balanced. You know? And I'm I'm trying my best to balance. So it. Do you have like a regular diet program? No, I don't program. really. I don't really have a diet <laughs> program. But I, I mean, I try to balance it as much as possible. You know, it's 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 not easy. But um, yeah, I mean, you know, you you go out there, you taste your food. You know, you have your wines. You know, you have all that. But then you know, that's that's as I said, that's the that's the that's the work hazards or, or the work, uh, shall I say, the the perks of the job. You know, you ha- you can eat what you want, you can drink what you want. But it's also that you have to have your limit in whatever you do you know you cannot mm-hmm. do anything overboard for that matter you know you need to have yourself disciplined when it comes to when it comes to work when it comes to the when it comes to food as well you, know, you have to be disciplined you know you cannot uh, binge binge it which know. is I'm, very I'm pretty, true I'm pretty disciplined when it comes to my food which you know. is very true and, yeah. I, and it shows that you know you're not just disciplined about your food you're disciplined about how you manage your business as well yeah I, I think uh, in anything to be successful you have to be disciplined you know you know as much as I, I mean in college I was not the greatest guy to be <laughs> disciplined but you know you work through the motions, you know. But when it, when when it, when it comes to when it comes to work, you have to be disciplined. Okay. And that if you want to, if you want to achieve something, you know, it's, it's it's a simple equation, you know. And I always drive that to my staff, you know. If you you, you guys have to be disciplined, you know, I think we we got a pretty disciplined lot of people working around us. That's why we run a successful chain of restaurants, you know. I see. And what are the pros and cons of uh, being an entrepreneur in the hospitality industry? You see, the pros of the job is it's a, it's a, it's a very flamboyant job to be in the hospitality business. As I said, you meet and greet people. Of all calibers of life, of all walks of life, you know, you see people every day. Of you know, you meet the stars, you meet the you meet the famous people, you know. Those are, those are the perks, you know. The, the hours of work can get tell you, you know, because you know you run twelve to sixteen hours a day, you know. So not it's, it's not a normal job you do, you know. It's not an eight to five job, you know. It's 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 a very different kind of industry. That's why I said at the beginning of this program, you gotta like it, you know. Because it's long hours of work, you, you, you get, the person you live with or the person you're going out with has to understand. You know, you don't see much of that person. You know, because you know, you it's it's like a, it's like the hospital business. You know, you're there, you have to be there. You know, so our business is you know being there when the guests are there. I can't be at home when the guests are in my restaurant. You know, it doesn't work that way. You know, so most of the time we are on our floors, we are meeting people, we are ensuring that the service is good, we are ensuring that the food is good, that the restaurants cleanliness, the sound levels of music, the lighting ambience. The <laughs> and those are the cons. <laughs> <laughs> those, are, those, those are you know those are things you have to be with. But yeah, see. that's that's yeah. But what are the cons? Sir? What what are the cons? Uh, as in, like, do you think there are negatives? It's 8:15 a.m. here in Sri Lanka. It's now 12.45 p.m. in Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea will be in Sri Lanka for the 2013 Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. Negatives in terms of having this? No responsibility. No, Nothing I at mean, all? no, no. I don't. I don't Stress I would, levels, perhaps. Yeah, but that, that, as I said, that's that's part and parcel of the job. Yeah. You know, in anything you will have, you hit a bit of negative in anything, but you take the negative and make it positive. That's that's the key in the success of the whole thing. You know, so for me, you know, I will hit a negative, but I make it a positive, and that's how I move forward. You know, I that's see. that's the key in to being successful, which is of, of course a very important way to look at things. In yeah, general, I mean, in anything you know, and especially I you know, I'm sad to say, but most people are negative. You know, it's very difficult. 
difficult to find positive people, you know, and it's very bad to have negative people around you. You always need positive, you need to have positive vibes. If you have positive people around you, it's that's important, you know, to be positive. And if you have negative people, then it, it doesn't send a good signal out, you know, no way. I see. And if I'm to ask you as an entrepreneur, what are, what would you consider eye openers in your experience? My eye opener, if I'm to say so. I mean, uh, for me, I, I would think, you know, being honest is, is something very important if you want to be a good entrepreneur, you have to be honest. And, you have to, and I said, like I said before, you know, you have to like it, you know, uh, that, that's a success. If, if I'm telling me what, 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 is, what would I say, a young person coming through the, through, through the, through the, through the ladder, up the ladder, you know, just, just hold on to like what you like, you know, and start, and being creative actually, you know, our business is being creative, being able to, you know, create stuff, put up concepts, make sure that they, are, they work well. And, uh, you know, as I said, just, just <laughs> stick to what you love doing, you know. And uh, in terms of now, you are a boss to a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really wouldn't consider that because I would, I would say most of my employees, I mean, I, have, I wouldn't consider myself a boss to most of my people because most of my people who work with me are my friends. And I consider mm -hmm. all my guys who work with me, I mean, for me, they can be my stewards or they can be my manager or my chef, but they are all my friends, you know. I wouldn't, as much as I can be strict with them, I can always be, you know, I'm, I'm always nice to them. And as I said before, my door is an open door. My I office see. doors are open to anybody, you know, from the gardener to the toilet cleaners to, to the... To, and we, we, we work as one big family, you know, we, we're very <laughs> close, you know. So that, that's, what, that's what I like most about it. You know? Well, of course, as a PR person and who's good at it, I mean, you're good with people. I'm sure you're a good boss as well. <laughs> yeah. I mean, as I said before, you know, most of my staff who have worked with me have worked with me for long years. A lot of entrepreneurs say, you know, the key to a successful business is to have good people with you. Yeah. And it's not easy to keep those good people with you, right? Yeah, I guess you got to look after them. You've got to put yourself in their position as well. That's the first thing, I, how I look at it, you know. I will, I, from where I started, from where I am, you know, I always put myself into okay. where, where, I, where they are, you know. And I know what it is, what it is to be there, you know. That's the success. And I have just one final uh, question to ask you. Yeah. Before before we wrap up this, this I had a lot of fun this morning with this Hi. session with you. I learned a lot. Thank but there's one thing I want to ask you, and this is for uh, our youth yeah. in our country. Yeah. Beyond Good Morning Sri Lanka, whoever's watching, we want you to tell them, you know, as an entrepreneur, what ad advice could you give them? Uh, first and foremost, if you want to be an entrepreneur, you got to do first find out what you'd like to do and then set your goals towards that. It's not going to be easy. You know, but if you set your goals towards that and you work towards that and not being lazy and work hard towards that, nothing's impossible. That's the most important thing to think. Nothing's impossible. Everything's possible. But if you have a mission and a vision. I see. Well, wise words coming from a <laughs> successful, iconic gentleman in the hospitality industry, Mr. Harfo Gunnarathan. Thank you very much for being with us on the show this morning. Uh, I'm sure you. a lot of our viewers had love yeah. to learn. Thank you. And so did I. Yeah. <laughs> so thank, thank you. you very much and I hope to see you soon. Yeah. MTV Sports hopes to see you soon. Uh, so, well, I'm, before I leave, I'm going to leave you with a little bit of a song for you to listen to on this Wednesday morning. So, have a great week away ahead. And before you do go, let me just remind you to log into our Facebook page which is www.facebook.com slash good morning Sri Lanka that's facebook.com slash good morning Sri Lanka and also if you want to email us and give us your feedback it's uh, MTV sports at maharaja.lk so that's it from us on good morning Sri Lanka see you soon